Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobber Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Potion Tycoon, which is a management game where you run a potion store and a potion manufactory, and you have to do all of the things that go into making a potion and selling them. It's very cool. Let's jump into things. Uh, as ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. Uh, I am trying to spell and talk at the same time, which is a tremendous challenge. Uh, but we are going to be creating Potatoes Potion Emporium, which is marvelous. Uh, we're not going to play through the tutorial. Thank you very much for the uh, advice, because uh, I have played through the tutorial, and I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. So, uh, this is our world. We This is our little sort of patch of heaven over here. We're, we're between two between two bridges. That's fine. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stats up here, which we'll talk about as we go. we got Tycoon Points, which is a very arbitrary way of measuring things, but that's fine. Uh, we've also got a whole bunch of, uh, of Goblin Coinage up in the top right-hand corner. And what we are going to do in the first instance is we are going to get to building our, uh, well, building. It's kind of that simple. Uh, so we're going to go into the construction menu. We're going to go into room construction. There's three different types of rooms that we can build. There's the basic room, chamber, which can be built uh, above ground. We're going to be building, um, I think, two of these, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll build two of these, one there and one there. Uh, both are inaccessible at the moment. We're not going to build a grotto quite yet, but I'm going to put a staircase between the two of these rooms. So let's do that. Let's map it a little bit more centrally. Probably should have built the staircase first. Doesn't particularly matter. Tie that together, tie that together. If we were to build, even though it says that we can build there, um, yeah, it's outside of the borders, so we can't do that. So that's, that's kind of fine. Uh, we've got our above ground here. That is lovely. However, we need... We need some underground, and we need some above ground too. I am going to build a little bit more stuff up here. Build that down there and build a grotto down below. Uh, that says that's inaccessible. Let's replace that and move it slightly further across. Cool. Okay, I think that's enough to be getting on with at the moment. If we have a little look at the total damage that this is going to cost us. Oh my goodness, 801 goblin coins. Well, you know what? That's the price of doing business in the... Well, I was a, a way to say which century, but I have no idea which century. This is this is how much it costs to do business in this world. Right, let's get it all built. Happy days. Um, we have left little little wells with a with, <laughs> with a bit of a tremendous tremendous building uh, building queue, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, so as we go, we're gonna we're gonna have a bunch of fun, and I'm gonna explain what the heck is happening. So let's get this let's get this all built first. Uh, what we need to do is we need to try and uh, complete these objectives, and it looks like, unintentionally, I've been moving towards that anyway. So, uh, ingredient cultivation, obviously, the ingredients for our potions, we need to make sure that, that we have them. Uh, so we need to get ourselves a cultivation box and a greenhouse for the production lines. We need uh, a pallet, a cooker, water, a bottling machine, and we also need to get some crew quarters and some shop cabinets and stuff. All of that stuff should be... Uh, very, very doable. Uh, let's see if we can try and get it all... Let's see if we can try and get it all sorted. What do I want to start with? Maybe we start with the crew quarters because it's kind of an easy... Kind of an easy fix. What did we need to get? L literally... Literally just a, a bunkhouse. Sure. Uh, let's put it... Over there. And then we've got an armchair as well. Increases room rating by 8. Uh, effects don't stack. Increases capacity. Whatever. That's that's fine. So, yep, let's buy that. That's good. Uh, it's not going to register until it's actually built. And it's going to take a little while to get built. There we go. Get the room all built. And then I think we'll probably get the cultivation boxes and the greenhouse. Now, let's have a look for where that is. It's probably in cultivation equipment. It is indeed. So... We need a cultivation box, and the cultivation box, I believe, it needs to go downstairs, which is not necessarily a problem. Happy to do that. Let's get one cultivation box for now, and did we need to get one greenhouse? We're actually going to get two greenhouses, just because I think that's the number that we're going to need, but that's fine. So that's going to take care of that objective. Uh, we still need to get a construction, a uh, production line even. We need a pallet, a cooker, and a bottling machine. Well, let's just go and get that set up right now. We'll get a bottling machine over here. Again, everything that is sort of production related gets stuck downstairs. 
We can't stick anything in the hallway. We'll stick that across there. We're not going to stick it here because I want to uh, I want to keep this space available for more production facilities. So something like that should be fine. And then for the shop floor, we are going to need a cash register, which I'll put over here. There we go. Nice little entrance over there, too. Uh, we will get a large oak cabinet and we'll get a large oak cabinet over here. I think that's all that we need for the shop. Good. Okay. Uh, that leaves us with about a thousand bucks in the bank. Just shy of. That's nice. Let's plop it into four times speed and we'll wait for everything to get built and we will wait for all of our uh, missions to be accomplished. Excellent. Okay, so the day has the day has officially started. That's fine. No issues with that at all. We are very, very okay with that. And we will get everything built. You must be absolutely exhausted. Yeah, your mood is going down. Not a surprise there, I gotta be honest. Right, excellent. Initial stock of ingredients delivered to pallet. That's great. Fantastic news. Okay, let's pause and take stock of what we've got going on. So, uh, down here, um, we have got a pallet. It's got a whole bunch of uh, resources on top of it. We've got catnip, we've got fly... Agaric? I have no idea. And Nightshade. Uh, so that's fine. We've also got a couple of different missions here. Uh, three different missions. We can actually check out our goals by looking at the uh, the goals tab here. We've got Path of Fame, Path of Service, and Path of Knowledge. We have been given all of these goals. Basically, uh, it's a different type of potion for uh, each of the first objectives here, and that's pretty much what we need to do. Create a potion that belongs in the health department, create a potion that belongs in the sorcery department, uh, create a potion that belongs in provisions department, and sell one crate or uh, one shelf worth of uh, worth of all of these potions. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually we're going to need to actually get to potion designing. Now this is kind of cool. So here's what we can do. Uh, we can use we can use all of these components. Now this is catnip, fly. Oh god, agaric, fly agaric. Sure, fly agaric and uh, and nightshade. Now uh, some of them are mushrooms. The fly agaric had to be, uh, is a mushroom, totally unpronounceable, and then the catnip and the nightshade are, are, uh, are herbs. It doesn't particularly matter, um, but it's okay. Anyway, what we do is we add these components into the pot here. Uh, didn't want to do that. We add them into the pot, and then we get a little, uh, a little hint up here. Now, we can only add two. We can only add two components into the pot at any one time, um, and the game is telling us that it's not a viable recipe. That's okay, though, because we are told here exactly what we need. So, uh, we need one effect, which is like that little dragon, a bone, a cat, or a ghost. We've got a dragon here. A beast, should I say. A main effect. Beast is associated with vitality and monsters. So you can see we can actually make a potion of vitality uh, if we are to combine... Um, if we are to combine a beast with fire, uh, which is not possible because we don't have the fire element in any one of these areas, but that's fine. Uh, we could make a sleep potion. That is definitely that is definitely something that I am interested in. So let's have a little look at that. We try and add both of them. That doesn't work, and I'll tell you why it doesn't work. It's because we've got two uh, we've got we've got two elements in here at the same time. So what we can do, and this is exactly what we're going to do, we can go into the ingredient and we can process the ingredient uh, in any such way that we want. So there are four components to. I mean, any uh, ingredient. Uh, we got a toxin, which increases the recipe's toxicity rating, which is not something that we actually want. We have the element. We have a stimulant, increases the potion's potency by one. And then we've got the other element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to pickle. I'm going to pickle. We can pickle, blanch, crush, or dry. Um, but we're going to do a horizontal cut, and we're going to keep the bottom half. So that leaves us with an actual legitimate recipe. We've managed to make ourselves a sleep potion, which is excellent. That's exactly what we wanted to see. However, if we have a little look at this, you can see, um, if we have a little look at the base appeal, it's in demand, excellent. It's savory, that's giving it a little bit of extra appeal, but it's currently toxic. And what that means is that we are currently utilizing this toxin. We're utilizing the beast, but we're also utilizing the toxin and the stimulant. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to pickle this as well, and immediately, we're going to plop that into there. So that, um, it's slightly less potent because if you'll recall, we got rid of the, whatever, the, we got rid of the potency, the potency bonus um, on the top half of the, the beast, the beast mushroom thing. Um, either way, we've got a base appeal of, of 15 now, which is actually quite good, I would say, for, uh, for a potion. So that's how we make potions. Uh, we have managed to make ourselves a, a health potion. Now, if it's a health potion, it has to be red. Uh, however, we can design... 
the bottle in any way that we see fit. That one looks fine to me. We can also have a little look at all of the different sort of production stats. We've got potency here. Uh, we've got product grade. We've got container quality. And that's just that. What we want to do is we can also adjust the, uh, the sell price here. Now, ideally, what we want to do... Uh, reviled. A rival house supplier has a superior product. Uh, loud lullaby with 21% appeal. Well, um, we could... We could change that. Uh, but to be honest, I am quite happy to keep the appeal above zero. If we keep the appeal above zero, then the product will sell. It's just a matter of it's just a matter of time. Uh, but we can adjust as we go. I'm not particularly bothered. Either way, that's looking fine. Uh, we can't market the product at the moment. Let's call this uh, best night. Best night, um, because it's the best night of sleep that you're ever going to get. Sure, that cork looks great. Happy days. Let's do it. Right, an appeal rate is, is so low that it's unlikely to sell. Really? Is that because it's, it's still reviled? Okay, well, apparently we're going to have to... Apparently we're going to have to jump the jump the price all the way down. The good news is, is that it's going to sell like like nothing else. Um, so that's kind of that's nice. Right, so, uh, what we can do is we can now set up the manufacturing of this potion. We'll go choose, we'll choose best night. Uh, we need a pickler for both the fly agaric and also the nightshade. Let us get a pickler. There we go. Literally right here. Boom. Excellent. Happy days. Yeah, you need, what are you looking for? You're looking for some sorcery potions, might buy some health potions sometimes. That's good to note. That's good to note. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let us try again. Best night, excellent. Both of the pickling operations are assigned to the pickler. That's fantastic. So let's get let's get that all started now. Our our greaser here, unfortunately, is not qualified. He hasn't done his he hasn't done his um he hasn't done his cauldron operating training yet. So unfortunately, uh, or his pickling operating. Uh, procedure manual yet. Uh, so unfortunately, that means we're going to have to get a novice operator, and also we're going to have to get an alchemist. It doesn't say, but I know we're going to need to get an alchemist for the cooker. So we're going to have to hire some staff. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves a novice alchemist. Excellent. And a novice operator. Brilliant. And whilst we're here, we'll also get ourselves a novice clerk. Now the clerk, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it, works on the till, which I think is absolutely fine. Uh, the alchemist is going to work on the cooker. Once the cooker is up and running, the cauldron, that's fine. You don't have any health potions, but that's that's okay. Right, so we're pickling the nightshade. That's great. Then we're going to pickle the, the other half of the stuff. That's good. I'm pretty happy with that. All very, very happy indeed. So, what can we do over here? Well, we can actually make ourselves some more. We'll get catnip over there, and we'll get nightshade over here. Very, very simple, uh, but we're able to plant, we're able to plant some seeds, and we're able to get gardening, which is, uh, which is quite nice. Okay, let's get this potion, let's get this potion done, because I want to start selling. I want to start selling. I will say, though, this is looking, this is looking not too bad. Um, everybody's mood is going to go down. So, one of the ways that we can fix that is by getting ourselves some, I don't know, token, yeah, you know, a decor shelf. Sure, we'll put a decor shelf in this room to make it, you know... To make it at least look a little bit nicer. We'll pretend to make an effort. I mean, you know me. I don't really care about my employees. It's it's fine. It's nothing to it's nothing to to, to worry about. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered at all. Right. Alchemist can hopefully. There we go. Get cooking. Ah, look at that. That is working. That is working fantastically. Great stuff. You love to see it. Okay. Oh, my crew, um, my other crewmate is is just chilling in here. Wells is chilling. To be fair, Wells, you've done a lot of you've done a heck of a lot of work. Your stamina is back up to, to where it needs to be. Your experience is getting there. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, uh, let's get a potion on the shelf. I really just want to get something. Get I want to get something on. I want to get something done and dusted. Uh, production stolen cooker one. We're missing something else. Okay, look, doesn't matter. Here's the thing. We're bottling best night. This is this is great news. This is absolutely fantastic news. I am actually delighted. Brilliant. And then we can choose best night to go on the shelves. And we've got 12 of them. That is great stuff. Let's get that upstairs. Let's get that upstairs. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. I would like to start selling my product. 
Hey, small health department. Fame increased by 5%. Lovely. So we can actually have a little look up uh, up here. We can see that we have got uh, one star uh, for for uh, for fame in the health department. Uh, customers increases the number of daily customers. Excellent. Oh, we're going to get our first customer. It's a guard. He's looking for some health potions. Might occasionally buy mountain potions. Hey, hey, look at that. We got ourselves a customer. Happy days. You love to see it. Okay, well, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna build ourselves a big old a big old shop here. I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, but we need to get ourselves we need to get ourselves a sorcery potion, and then we also need to get ourselves a provisions potion. Uh Boggles is unable to work because the room rating is too low. Really? Are you serious? Are you serious the room rating is too low? Um, well, we'll get ourselves another decor item then, I suppose, if that's what we need to do. What else increases it by a lot? By 10? A mummy statue? I don't really want a mummy statue because that's going to take up a lot of space on the, on the ground. Let's get ourselves a lantern over here. And let's get ourselves... A scroll. I mean, there's literally nothing else that we can we can do up here. Let's hope that that makes a difference. I think it did. Excellent. Okay, um, what we need to do is we need to go and see if we can try and get ourselves another potion. Now, I am looking... I am looking for... Reset the recipe. Excellent. I am looking for... What did I say? I was looking for a... A sorcery potion or a provisions? A mountain potion. Let's get, let's get this cut in half. We can always reset if we need to. Okay, get that in there. And then we just need to add one effect. What if we add cat? We can get a mana potion. We can get a tasty, a tasty mana potion or a potion of summoning. To be fair, it's either a potion of summoning or a mana potion. Let's get a let's get a mana potion because we used the beast last time. We'll use cat this time. Hey, high demand savory and it's sorcery. 20% appeal. This looks like a pretty professional potion if I if, if I'm honest. That's that's looking really really good. Okay, of course we got to have a purple purple potion. Uh rivaled again? Am I just going to am I just apparently going to sell like super cheap products? Uh, what type of potion was it? I can't even remember what type of potion it was. It was just, it was a mana potion. Um, I don't know. Mana from hell. There we go. Nice creative name. Okay, this is a rivaled potion, but you know what? I'm going to try and sell it at above, at above cost anyway, so we'll try and do that. Right, let's get ourselves a, another oak cabinet because we're going to need another cabinet to... Uh, to sell it on, and then we are going to add uh, mana from hell to the production queue. What's going on here? Dale Dutch Dutch of Knee, Crown Inspector. King has trusted this plot of land to you in the hands of hope that one day your house will be elected to new royal potion house. Uh, the illustrious private supply of the royal court, the tallest mountain peak in the world of alchemy. There are several houses seeking to claim that honor. To stay ahead in the race, you must win with haste. Your first trial is to prove you're a proper shopkeeper. To do this, follow a goal path of your choosing and sell 30 crates of potions. Of course. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, right. Launch report for best night. The best option at the moment. Hey, that's good. That's good. Best night is now noticed. Fame increased 6% for three days. That's pretty good. We've also got a new player in town. Novelty shop. All potions are 20% more likely to sell. That's great. Great fire. Number of new potion houses have emerged. Cool. We got the midnight lantern. News on the day. Excellent. Happy days. Let's get ourselves... I was in the middle of something there. There we go. Let's go mana from hell. We need a pickler and we need a mortar. Okay, we can get ourselves a mortar. That's not a problem at all. And that's exactly why I wanted to keep that area that area spare. Let's choose mana from hell. Beautiful. Okay, so that's at least something. That's the, the basics of what we need. I don't believe we're going to need anybody new to, to work here. But that's fine. Okay, daily report. The report is in. We sold one potion. To be fair, we only started stocking the potion at... Literally... Does anyone do health? Second in health? Am I? Wait, who's first in health? I don't know who's first in health. Either way, 
that's fine. We, we literally had one... We had one customer. <laughs> we had one customer. But we only started stocking the potion towards the end of the day. So, I mean, you know, that's not really that bad, is it? I don't think so. Either way, how are we doing? Ingredients. We got plenty of ingredients, I think, on the on the whole. That's good. That's nice. Uh, segments. Market leaders. Yeah, I mean, okay. We just had a little look at that in the evening. Uh, products. We've got products there. Factions. We can have a little look at factions. Uh, although we have absolutely zero information because, let's be brutally honest, uh, we didn't sell that many potions. Um, we can do some... We can do a research. We can do a research desk. Artifacts. We don't have any artifacts at the moment. Decor. I don't really want to worry about decor. Um, I also don't want to worry about offices at this moment in time. What I'm really looking for is another bunkhouse. Yeah, another bunkhouse, which is going to allow more people to sleep at um, at the time. That should be that should be handy, right? Let's stick it into two times speed and let's get let's get going. I would really like I'd really like to get this up and running. What's up with uh, what's up with this? Anybody interested in anybody interested in best night? It's good. It's cheap too. It's cheap. It's very very cheap. All workers are busy. Novice operator. Yeah, um, our novice operator is currently snoozing. Uh, snoozing the day away. Let's hire another worker. Let's hire another novice operator. You know, I don't care that it's going to cost me more money. I just want to get it done. I really, really, really want to get it done. I would really ideally like the potion, the second potion to be in play by the end of today. Uh, we're also going to go and get ourselves a... Another potion. We're going to need to get ourselves another potion. Right, what do I need to make? I need to I need to get potion of repellent, which I can't make with beast. I can not make anything, I don't think. I can't make Yeah, I can't make a provision potion. Oh no, tell a lie. I can make potion of slow. I can make potion of slow. Let's cut this cut this in half and then we'll cut this in half too. There we go. Potion of slow, beautiful. We'll do it. It's still rivaled. Uh, I'm gonna have to sell it at that price. Provision. Uh, provisions. Provisions. I don't know if it's an excuse to not provision appropriately on a uh, on an adventure, but that's fine. Right. So we've got that queued up. We've got bulk provisions. Uh, let's move that up so that we produce it after uh, after mana from hell. Uh, but before best night, and I don't think that we're going to need to get ourselves any additional components. I think we should be all fine. I am going to need to obviously get another uh, another shelf to store things on, but that's fine. Uh, missing catnip, which has been pickled, but that should get done. That should get done reasonably quickly. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we do have catnip here. We do have catnip. We're just literally waiting for it to get pickled. There we go. It's being pickled right now. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. It's all happening. We are continuing to sell a whole bunch of uh, Best Night. Uh, whether or not we're making money from Best Night is, uh, is another thing altogether. But we should be able to get our potion uh, done and dusted. Uh, whether or not we're actually going to get it done before the close of play today. And by close of play, I mean 6 o'clock in the morning because apparently that's when... Apparently, that's when everything happens. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, yeah, what am I... I didn't mean to click on that. Is there... Is there, I thought there was, like, an overlay. I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's actually an overlay that I can... That I can look at to see what the appeal of the room is. There we go. That's it. Uh, room look. Room rating. It's not bad. I mean, what is... What does Knuckles need to work in? Oh, look at that! We sold 10 potions. Hey, that's great. We're still second in health. Everybody's second in health, though, apparently. Well, you know what? That was good. We actually made money. We legitimately made money. That feels so good, and we're actually gonna... gonna move it on up. Um, we also managed to complete the Apocathory, um, mission. Uh, the City Council offers a sizable grant for any potion house which serves the needs of a varied customer base. Maintain two large departments for at least 24 hours to claim this reward. Okay. That's fine. We got our second potion up. Hey, that's so good. That's so good. Let's get ourselves a... Get ourselves a shelf over here. Get that built. Wonderful. And 
we'll hopefully make that all happen. Uh, we're doing a lot of pickling. Uh, we're doing a lot of pickling. We could probably do with getting ourselves an additional pickler, but frankly, I don't really care uh, because it's all sort of working out. This is great. Let's get provisions, provisions, provisionally stocked. And then let's go into four times speed. We are starting to run low on um, on best nights. Little bit concerning. But I can't really do much about it. We're just going to have to wait until we finish uh, we finish dealing with, uh, with best life. Oh, uh, Jolene, an ingredient trader. Check out this rare ingredient. Can be planted into a greenhouse to, to grow anise. Okay, that's also a bone, which is kind of nice. Accept? I think I'm going to take you up on that offer. I really, really do. Mana from hell. This launch has turned out to be a flop. There are better options on the market. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to compete here. We got provisions, provisions, provisions is officially on the, on the shelf. Best sleep truly is the best sleep that you can get. That's great. Okay, uh, let's get ourselves another growing cabinet here. Uh, greenhouse, that's it growing cabinet. I was, I was thinking, I was thinking it's really not called a growing cabinet, is it? And it's not. It's called a greenhouse. So there we go. Let's get this planted. There we go. Fantastic. Get it in there. Beautiful. There's a little bit of production stalling, but I mean, that doesn't particularly matter, I don't think. What's going on? Captain Gutter, guard VIP. You like conjuring potions, necromancy potions, potions of summering. Um, I mean, can I make that? A target crate of two amounts in two days, target grade one, deadline four days. We will gain tycoon points. I mean, I can try a conjuring potion, a necromancy potion, a potion of summoning. Sure, let's do it. Let's let's absolutely do it. Let's 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 make it happen. Right. Conjuring potion, necromancy potion, potion of summary. Summary. Summoning. A necromancy potion. We can do that. We can absolutely do that. Let's reset everything here. Let's do this. And what did I say? We needed this. Okay, is it good enough though? Is it is it good enough? The base appeal is is minus ten because it's got an antidote in it. I mean, we could always just do it again. Is that good enough? There's, it's impure now though. That's the problem. <sighs> to be fair, this is like the this is the trade offs. This is the trade offs that we're gonna have to deal with. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 go for it. We're going to have to sell it pretty much for free <laughs> for free here. Pretty much for free. Right, it's a sorcery potion. We'll sell it uh, as that. Um what is it? Is that won't won't summon anything. Won't summon anything bad. Yeah, it's okay. We we don't we don't care. We don't care that it's that it's not likely to sell. Okay. Let's get won't something anything bad. We need a drying kiln, which I will get. Won't summon anything bad. Let's get this moved up to the top of the queue. And we're gonna have to expand our establishment with more grottos. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I'm terrified. I'm terrified that this is. Won't summon anything bad. Items already in the queue. Yeah, can I maybe... Yeah, let's stay in production. Storage targets. Set four. Sure. And what did we need? A drying kiln. I think it was a drying kiln, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a drying kiln. Nice. Okay, get that down. Get that down. Let's let's go. Let's freaking go. I feel like I need more employees, but I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. 
Provisions, provisions has turned out to be a flop. That's okay though. We don't need to we don't need to worry about that. We're just we're working towards we're working towards where we need to be. We don't have any research yet. We don't have anything like that. Um I should probably build a research room. Let's let's do that right now. Get a chamber up here. And we'll get a research lab. There we go. Okay, that leaves me with 450 bucks in the bank, which is not a tremendously large amount, but that's okay. Okay. Missing ingredient. That's fine. We are waiting for it to be collected, and it's going to be collected, and it's going to be stuck on the pallet, which is great stuff. Happy, happy days. Right. Uh, what do I want to change about my current potions? I mean, unusual but simple bottle caps. Slightly increased container quality. Worker salary. Increases ventilation in production rooms. Creates a safe zone. Increases room rating. Quality of life. Enables marketing actions. That seems pretty cool. Let's go, let's go oddities. Let's go oddities first, and then we will, we'll move it on up. Um, we don't have anyone assigned at the moment, but I probably, I probably could, or I could probably hire somebody new to make that happen. I think I just need to hire, like, way more people. Best night has run out. That's okay. Best night is currently... Oh, no. Best night is our, best night was our best seller. Best night was absolutely our best seller. Well, there's not much that we can really do about it. We're just going to have to deal with it. You're just going to have to buy provisions. Provisions are mana from hell. That being said, our shelves are like... Like, horrifically empty? Also, I think we're going to need to get another pickler. Yeah, I need another pickler. Executive decision. Executive decision made. Let's get another pickler. We're, we're doing a heck of a lot of pickling right now. Let's see if we can try and... Let's see if we can try and get it made. Right. Um, requires a novice alchemist or higher. Let's hire... Let's hire another novice alchemist. Welcome on board. Let's also hire... I was going to hire another novice operator to operate the... Uh, to operate the pickler. But apparently we can't do that. So that's fine. Maybe even another novice greaser. The greaser who moves things around. Look at that! What a crazy, crazy day. Believe it or not... Um, we were still bottom of the leaderboard. That's kind of to be expected. That's okay. Four higher. Another novice operator. I'll take him. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Okay. Research completed oddities. Hey, that's nice. That was really quite easy, actually. Uh, how many tycoon points have we got? 19. Let's go office basics. Sure. Let's go office basics. Hey, look at that. Gain a random ingredient seed. Uh, gain 10 points. Brilliant. And we're working towards supply depot as well. So that's really, really nice. Art and science. Unlock at least three research goals. Create a product with grade three or higher. Gain the night crystal. Uh, I mean, do we have any other... Yeah, we literally do not have any other... Um any other ingredients to plant here. So we're fine. I mean, we've got plenty of we've got plenty of resources. We just need we just need more. Waiting for the ingredients. Why is it not being moved down? Waiting for materials. Dried. Well, we've got all we've got everything that we could possibly need, which is great. Okay. Let's get this stuff bottled and then let's see if we can try and uh, get mana. Oh, wait. Mana from hell. Are we not bottling, uh... Are we not doing... Are we not doing... Won't summon anything bad? Is that not what we're doing? That's what I thought we were doing, anyway. Oh, well. Right. Supply goal completed. Gain a random artifact. Gain 10 tycoon points. That is nice. Provisions, provisions. We're doing provisions, provisions. I thought we were doing... Won't summon anything bad. Okay, turn repeat off then. This is top of the production queue. Let's get this, let's get this going, please. Research completed office basics. Nice. Lady of the Moon Witch VIP. Sorcery one crate. Um, sure. No suitable items in stock. We, 
do have mana from health though. Is that not a sorcery potion? Well, we can try and we can try and get that done. Conjuring potion, potion of summoning, target grade one. Do we actually have target grade one? That's what I want to. I do want to check that. Either way, this is looking not too bad. Best knight is fine. Mana from hell. No, I don't want mana from hell. I want this. Move up the order. Won't summon anything bad. There we go. Won't summon anything bad. Let's finally flip and produce it, please. I would really like to get that potion made. The good news is, though, is that we are legitimately in a fine place. Won't summon anything bad. Let's get it. Uh, we've also got best knight as well, which is looking really, really good. There we go. Man, oh man, oh man. Look at this. Look at this. We're properly, like, provisions, provisions. People said that it couldn't be done, but now people are legitimately buying it. Um, weirdly, you're ready to, you're ready to go. How many crates did you need? You just needed literally one. Sure. Successful delivery. Spread the good word about won't summon anything bad. Is hot for three days. A sack of coins would be perfect or don't mention it. Uh, spread the word. Sure, spread the word. And then let's immediately put it on sale. I feel like that was probably not a great idea because I don't actually have that many that I can realistically offer to anyone. No, stop making this. Put this up here. There we go. Storage target of four. There we go. Won't summon anything bad. I don't think we have any in stock at the moment, do we? I don't believe so. All right, what do we got up here? Wizard VIP. You want to... Oh, you want a sorcery potion? Mana from... Ask me later. Hold on. This is... Bulk mana potion. Yeah, we don't have a... We don't have one of those. Sorry. Necromancy potion. This is a necromancy potion. Is it a decent enough necromancy potion? I'm not sure. I think we're probably going to end up declining your, your, your mission. Sorry, buddy. What about you? You're looking for provisions. Two crates worth of provisions? I mean, I'm happy to do that. I'm very, very happy to do that. I think that we've got everything that we possibly need. Uh, target grade is one. I think that we we hit the target grade of one for uh, provisions, provisions. Don't quote me on that, but I think we do. Yeah, grade is 1.9. That's great. Won't summon anything bad is 1.4. What do you need? Yeah, it, we've got it. If we can get... If we can literally get one of these... If we can get one of the... Why do you not want to make this? Look. Once produced... Yeah. Let's make it until we have the storage target. Please. Won't summon anything bad is what we need. Okay, let's try and put it on our shelves. Let's try and sell it as much as we possibly can. Let's try and get it off to this troll looking fella here and hope that we're able to hope that we're able to make it work large sorcery department fame increased by 10 percent hey that's great we're actually legitimately selling uh the bulk necromancy potion now which is great this is looking and feeling good all of the parts are moving together you've entered the sorcery market excellent friendly competition is always welcome okay so this is my this is my competitor i didn't mean to enter the sorcery market it kind of happened Accidentally. Pretty much entirely accidentally. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to. Won't summon anything bad. Let's keep on making it. Let's keep on making it. We got a few people that are complaining about the fact that the room looks like garbage down here. I hate to break it to you. Uh, you live in a potion world. Uh, you know what? I will take this. Purchase unicorn shoe for 90 bucks. Why not? Why the heck not? Why the heck not? 23. That's looking good. We're still making Won't Summon Anything Bad. I think we can do this. I think we can absolutely do this. Won't Summon Anything Bad is two stars. Hey, that's good. This thing is going to sell. This thing is going to sell like hotcakes. Brilliant. Let's also see if we can try and get some more research done, eh? We'll get worker safety. As much as it really pains me to, to say... We should probably start thinking about our workers a little bit more. Uh, I do need to get... I do need to get something else into commission. And it's the potion for this individual here. Yeah, it's provisions. 
I won't summon anything bad. You've got two crates. We've got two crates here. We've got two crates worth of potions. Is that, like, seriously, what are you after? Two crates, target grade one. Won't summon anything bad is definitely a... It's definitely a necromancy potion, and it's definitely got the... It's definitely got the, uh... The requirements. Okay, let's turn that off then, I suppose. I'm not sure why you're not being satisfied, but whatever the case, we've still got loads of the potion, and um, it's selling pretty darn well, uh, I think, which is nice. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Second in health, second in sorcery. That's a pretty nice place to be, if I do indeed say so myself. This is looking, this is looking really, really great. This is looking fantastic. Worker set to Rome. Uh, let's promote you. I, I really haven't worried too much about promotions at all. Uh. Let's do let's do pickle operators, sure. To be fair, I really haven't like checked in on anybody's upgrade trees at all. Um, but I'm really not particularly bothered. Well, look, I mean it's not exactly profitable. Profitable would be a bit of a stretch. Uh, but I will say I am reasonably happy with how this entire little uh potion tycoon operation is is coming along. Um, but we're gonna wrap up here, ladies and gents. I've got a I've got a tremendous soft spot for this game. I think it I think it looks great. I think it plays really really nicely. Um, and it's still in early access, so I'm really excited to see where it goes. Um, it's not perfect, not by any stretch of the imagination. The production chains are a little bit a little bit jank in comparison to a couple of other games that I played. Uh, but on the whole, I think it's a it, it's a nice little it's a nice little entry into uh, into the genre. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. Check out the